Greetings, saints of the Most High, from wherever you are watching this video from. I am Edward Chamaombe, an SDA evangelist. And today I have a strengthening topic which I want to discuss with the world and to encourage all the Christians around the globe. And this uh, study is entitled A Song of Experience. A Song of of experience it is taken from the book of revelation the book of revelation chapter 14 verse 1 up to 3 and it leads and lo i looked and a lamb stood on the mount zion and with him an hundred and forty four thousand having his father's name written in their forehead this is now Jesus standing on the Mount Zion. With him, the 144,000 with him on the Mount Zion. Now, we want to learn something of the event which is happening here. And it continues to say, And I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of main waters and as the, great, as the voice of great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. It is continuing to say, I've heard a voice, the voice of who? many waters. Water in the uh, book of Revelation, it symbolizes people. So this voice which is like the many waters, it's a voice of people, the people who have been saved there in heaven. It's the voice which now John heard, the voice of many waters. And the voice of the great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with me, their harps. There are now these musical instruments which are playing. There is the harp. And harp is a musical instrument used to, to sing a melody and harp. So, this time John listens to this harp harping in heaven. There is celebration there in heaven. Now, what was this? celebration all about? What was taking place there in heaven at this time? This is what we are going to hear in chapter 3. And they sang as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders. And what these harpers were doing was they were singing a song in heaven. And this was a new song before the throne of God, before the four living creatures and before the elders. The elders were gathered and these harpers, the 144 with Jesus, they are harping, they are singing uh, over their triumph over the mark of the beast. Now listen to what it says. And no man could learn that song but the hundred and forty-four thousand which were redeemed from heaven. Now, I want you to listen carefully about this celebration. They are busy celebrating in heaven, singing new songs there. And no one in heaven could learn the songs which they were singing apart from the one hundred and forty-four thousand which were redeemed from heaven. If Adam was there, Noah was there, Abraham was there, the apostles were there, all these great men of the Bible, Daniel, they were there, but they were not allowed to sing that in that song. It was a new song and the only the 144,000, they are the only ones who could learn that song. So we want to know what are the characters of this song, what are the verses in this song, what are the words which are inside this song, which no one in heaven, even the angels, could not learn how to sing this song? Only the 144,000 were the, one, the ones who could sing this song with Jesus. Let me, con let me read again verse 3, which talks about the same things which I'm explaining to the, to the world. And they sang as it were a new song before the throne. The throne is the, the throne where God sits. They are singing a new song there. 
and before the four beasts which surround the throne of God, and the elders, the elders are the parliament seats of God there where God makes counsels with the people before he makes a final decision. The elders they are there. Now listen. And no man could learn that song but the hundred and forty four thousand which were redeemed from the earth. No one could learn that song unless the 144,000 which were redeemed from the earth. Now we want, uh, we want to look about the verses, the characters of this song, which even Adam, even Noah, even Job, all these righteous men we know in the Bible, they had no right to sing in this song. Even the angels were just quiet listening to the 144,000 who were singing this song with Jesus. Now, what was it about? You find the answer of this in the book of the Great Controversy, uh, page, uh, page 148, paragraph 2, under the topic which says God's people delivered. That's where you find the merit of this song, the character of this song, the verse and everything in this song. It says, I will put it there on your screen, but I'm just going to memorize it from my head. It says, no one could learn about that song, and no one could sing that song, because it was a song of experience. These people, they lived in an age where they stood without the intercessor. Endured Jacob's time of trouble. They endured the greatest earth crisis in this world, and they stood in a moment where no one from the history of this world has ever stood, and they triumphed, they triumphed without even the intercession of God. And God finds them alive here on earth. So it's a song of experience, that's what the Bible says about this song, it's a song of experience which no one could can't sing because they have never been in this kind of situation. Which the angels themselves can't sing because they have never been in this kind of situation. Which anyone who were saved apart from the 144 who don't sing because they were not in this last crisis. I want to encourage you, my brother and my sister, from wherever you are watching this video from. There is something that you yourself only experiences with God. With me, I can't sing with you. Only you can sing with God because you have been in many situations, you've been in many troubles, and you've, you've overcome in that category, which me, I don't even have an experience in that. I'm just here to strengthen you and to tell you, my brother and sister, in whatever situation you are going through, that don't give up praising God. Don't give up worshiping. Don't give up going to church. Don't give up your Christianity. Just continue because that's your experience. You look at this 144. They are going into. They, they will go into a great time of trouble, but they will not give up. And just for that, they will sing a song which no one could couldn't sing with them because it's them who went through in that situation. My situation, which I go through in this world, you can't sing with me because it's my personal experience with Christ. It's my personal uh, difficulties with God. It's me who knows them. So when I'm singing this song of experience, you can't join me because it's me who've been in this kind of situation. That's, what, that's what's even happening on this chapter. After the 144, they triumph over the mark of the beast. They triumph over the Jacob time of trap, over the greatest AIDS crisis. This they overcome. They are going to sing there in heaven a new song which no one could can't sing with them because it's them who went through those situations. Many are there Christians who give up going to church because of situation. Many are there Christians who give up even worshiping God because of challenges. My brother and my sister from wherever you are watching this video, don't give up because that's your song of experience. One day, even you in heaven, if you are not going to be among the 100, 100, 144, 
if you are going to be among the great multitude, even you, you are going to have your own experience which you went through to be saved. You are going to have your own experience. I'm not talking about the 144. I'm just giving an example of what they are going to go through in, in heaven, what they are going to sing, which no other people would sing with them because that's their own experience. Even you, my brother, you have your own experience with God. Don't give up. Just keep worshiping God. Just keep bearing His testimony. Just keep taking the message of God to the world because whatever you are going through, it's your song of experience. Keep singing it, my brother. Don't give up. Be like Job who kept singing his song until God delivered him. May the living God bless you from wherever you are watching this video until we see each other next time. Please remember to share this video. Remember to subscribe. Remember to even share your opinions, your messages with us so that we can be walking in one accord, sharing and taking the word of God to another level. May the living God bless you all. Amen.